Hey everybody, John Caspers here, field agronomist for Northeastern Iowa with Bex Hybrids. Pat Holloway, field agronomist in Southwest Iowa. So we wanted to put a quick video together for you guys of tools that we bring out on any of our field calls. I'm a big uh, digging implement guy. I like to have something I can dig with. Mine's, me mine's uh, graduated so that way I can easily measure seed depth. I also like to bring a knife, notebook, cell phone for magnification, and some sort of measuring tool. So once we get the tools done, Pat, when you walk into a field, what are the things that you look for as far as evaluating before you even step foot in a field? Yep. So as I'm driving by or, or getting to a field, I like to look at the big picture and see what the whole field looks like. What kind of conditions did, uh, does it look like the field was in? Did we work it? Is it no-till? Uh, what other differences can we see? Can we see bad spots or, or what overall does our stand uh, look like and, and in what stage are we at at that point and then and, and as John mentioned you know obviously if one of the first things I like to do is stretch out a tape measure let's get an idea of, of what kind of population we have that's emerged and and so here we have a, we're in 30 inch rows so we're 17 feet 5 inches to get that thousandth of an acre and I like to count both sides uh, of that tape measure each time to get some more data points and, and uh, to really evaluate our stand. So what, what do you like to do besides uh, uh, the population counts, John? So once I get done with my stand count, I like to go through and look for any discoloration, any low spots where it might show a little bit of differing emergence and just look at the overall color of those seedlings. And then once I establish, all right, everything's okay there, I like to dig planting depth, uh, check my seed depth, the, I'm a big guy on least determining factors and one of the things that can give me a report card of the field very quickly is if we had a planning issue the depth is normally going to be the first thing to show that. So once I get it dug up, Pat, what do you look for in the seedling itself? Yep and so one key step that you mentioned is digging up seedlings and evaluating them and, and like you mentioned the we're looking for any discoloration in that mesocotyl or root area. Um, and also checking this this uh, the seed to see is it still firm and good shape, and 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 then obviously that that white color. If we see any brown coloration, that means we either have some sort of disease or we got some anhydrous burn on that seedling that could impact it. Uh, and tell it uh, here in a couple weeks when it does start sending out nodal roots and, and moves from those those first uh, roots that we see on this plant. And so those are the key things. And as you're digging out the seedling, you also it gives you a report card on the planting conditions that you encountered. So do we have sidewall compaction? Uh, do we see that what we call like tomahawk, mohawk root, hatchet root, whatever you want to call it, uh, that we uh, can see if we do have that sidewall compaction. So with all this that we're doing this time of year, why are we doing that? We have a lot of things going on, whether we're trying to spray, finish up, maybe soybean planting or whatever. What, what's the, why are we doing all this, John? So, you know, a lot of these guys, a lot of guys are spending a significant amount of time in the planting tractor. We've made all of our buying decisions. We've done all of the, we've done all of the pre-planning to get to this point. This is that report card, Pat. So what I like to do is once I get all, all of this information, you know, I'm taking notes across it. I sit down on my notebook and I write down what I saw, what, it, what needs to be fixed, if there were any issues. And those evaluations are helping me make the decisions for this field come post-spraying, come side dress. Am I looking at a fungicide application, any micronutrients? Any of those decisions are gonna be based on what I'm seeing in the field now, not necessarily just what I pre-planned for. That's still a roadmap, but this report card's gonna tell me, do I spend that extra money? So my challenge to you guys is, or our challenge to you guys is go out, Dig some corn, dig some beans, get your boots dirty, and have fun doing it. Thank you.